Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alonso from Spain. I'm an anesthesiologist and I'm the director of a non-invasive ventilation uh, group here in Valencia. I'm going to show you how to uh, use the Businac CPAP in patients with uh, hypoxemia or with pneumonia related to uh, virus infection. I'm going to try to show you how to decrease the possibility of airborne widespreads during uh, the CPAP therapy and also during the high flow therapy. First of all, uh, some warnings that I have to say to you. Uh, you have to be aware about the use of non-invasive ventilation in patients with uh, severe hypoxemia. Uh, for example, you have to uh, have available uh, endotracheal intubation immediately if the patient goes down and also you have to uh, be ready for invasive ventilation just in case there, there, there were no um, um, improvement of the clinical situation of our patients. For that reason, uh, in patients with uh, severe hypoxemia related to pneumonitis or pneumonia related to virus infection, it's really important to have a, a, a huge experience in the treatment of this kind of patients. I'm going to show you the different filters that are available for uh, non-invasive ventilation and CPAP therapy in order to decrease the airborne dispersion of uh, uh, various and other uh, potential microorganisms related to viral or bacterial infections in, in patients with pneumonia or pneumonitis. Here you are the different filters. We have five filters. It's important to remark that these are not heat at the moisture exchangers, are only filters. So they are not going to add any humidification to the circuit. The main characteristic of these filters are that these filters have a low resistance uh, and have a low uh, depth space. This is really important because um, they do not interfere with the system, with the CPAP, and also the, the low resistance range is between 0.5 to 0.9 centimeters of water and the depth space that can add to the circuits is very low, uh, less than uh, 70, 60 milliliters. First of all, I'm going to show you how to assemble the filters in the Businac CPAP system. The first step is to choose the face mask. We can choose whichever. This face mask is a, a very comfortable uh, face mask for the Businac valve, or either we can use this one that is available in some, in some European countries. The first step is to fit the elbow. We are going to put here the elbow, it's an ergonomic elbow. Secondly, we have to choose between the different filters. As you can see, all the filters fit perfectly. We have this one, another one. These two are intersurgical filters. We can choose this one. This is a Philips Respironic filter. the Fisher and Paykel filter, and finally, the Medtronic filter. As you can see, all the filters fit perfectly with the elbow. After fitting the filter, we need to connect the FiO2 ring, like this, okay? And finally, we need to connect the Businac bulb with a noise reductor to reduce the noise and to decrease the turbulent flow. Yeah, after showing how to assemble the filter to a uh, CPAP uh, system to make the system safer in the case of treatment of patients with respiratory infections, I'm going to show you how to interconnect a TEPs uh, for uh, nebulizing therapy. This is very important because sometimes patients need uh, this type of therapy and it's really important to decrease the spread of infection particles. First of all, we need to disconnect the elbow here. 
So you have the filter and the Bosniak system. After that, you have to connect the TPs directly to the face mask, like this. And finally, you have to connect, again, the filter and the systems. This is really important because sometimes the particles uh, can saturate the filter. And sometimes when you finish the therapy, you need to change the filter. It's really important to notice that some of the particle can escape through the leakage around the face mask. So this is, this is not a 100% safe system, right? For that reason, all the uh, practitioners, all the doctors, all the patients involved in the care of this patient should, should uh, wear a proper uh, mask, proper dress for the therapy. <laughs>